The fastest aircraft in the world, its capabilities break the rules of science and physics. No radars can detect it, and no missiles can approach it. A fifth-generation nuclear stealth fighter, plus or minus, or sixth-generation multi-role fighter. It will change the balance of power and control in the world's airspace and outer space. Its fire can destroy satellites in seconds, and Russia will be the undisputed strongest in the air. The Blue Eagle is the nickname given by Russia to this future aircraft. It cannot be deterred. Hypersonic Stealth Dominant in Outer Space the MiG-41 is a secret Russian project to manufacture a stealth aircraft. Hypersonic with air superiority, displacing traditional stealth aircraft such as the Su-75 and F-22 from the list of the world's most powerful aircraft, and for Russia to monopolize the lead in air and technological superiority. Talking about the Blue Eagle or the Predatory Beast, the story seems like fiction, but it is true. Russia is working to replace the famous MiG-31 Foxhound interceptor aircraft. The new sixth-generation fighter will be able to move at very high speeds, be equipped with laser weapons, and even shoot down enemy satellites orbiting the Earth. Since 1940, the Mikoyan Aircraft Group has been credited with producing a number of well-known and highly effective military aircraft, including the MiG-15, MiG-15. 21, MiG-29, MiG-25, and MiG-31. Mikoyan is one of the most produced aircraft in the field of military aviation. One of the best aircraft created by the MiG group is the MiG-31. The MiG-31 is now the fastest aircraft in the world with a maximum speed of 3,000 km per hour. The Vimpel R 37M missiles, the most powerful and fastest air to air missile in the world, are equipped on this aircraft that flies at an altitude of 25,000 meters, 82,000 feet, above sea level and is capable of shooting down enemy bombers and other heavy aircraft at a distance of 400 kilometers. The Mikoyan Group has been working hard since 2013 to create a replacement or successor to the MiG 31. The Mikoyan Pak DP, also known as the MiG-41, is the name of the new aircraft. According to Russian defense analysts, the MiG-41 will be a stealth heavy interceptor of the sixth generation. The aircraft will fly at extremely high altitudes and will be capable of achieving very high speeds of Mach 4.3 to 5. The MiG-41's high-altitude capability will enable the aircraft to patrol and cover most of Russia's very long borders quickly. To reach extremely high speeds, the aircraft will be equipped with turboramjet or ramjet engines. The aircraft will also effectively use stealth technology. The aircraft is expected to make its first test flight in 2025 and will be available to the Russian Air Force by 2028. The design of the MiG-41, according to Mikoyan, was completed in 2019. Currently, Mikoyan is working on research and development of this project. The MiG-41 will be based on the MiG-31 Foxhound design, according to the general director of the MiG Corporation in July 2020. This advanced aircraft has little information, and not much is known about its capabilities. Its primary mission as a long-range interceptor is to patrol the Russian borders and shoot down enemy bombers and other powerful aircraft. Two main types of aircraft will be developed, manned and unmanned. Armament The MiG-41 will be equipped with a wide range of advanced weapons, including anti-missile lasers, hypersonic missiles, anti-satellite missiles, and laser weapons. The MPKR-DP, Multifunctional Long-Range Interceptor Missile System, an advanced weapon that will deploy multiple submissiles to increase the probability of intercepting and destroying enemy hypersonic weapons, is another missile system that Russia intends to equip for the MiG-41. Overall, 
The MiG-41 will be a powerfully armed interceptor aircraft. The ability to fly at very high altitudes and even near space will give the MiG-41 superiority over other enemy aircraft. The technical specifications of the MiG-41 are difficult to accept. The Mikoyan Aircraft Corporation has very high expectations for the MiG-41 project, but creating advanced technologies to meet the technical requirements for the aircraft will be a difficult and challenging task for the MiG Corporation. The MiG-41 will travel at speeds of 4 to 5 Mach, which will produce a lot of energy in the form of heat. This large amount of heat will undoubtedly make the MiG-41 vulnerable to enemy attacks because the enemy aircraft's infrared sensors will be able to detect the aircraft's heat signature. In addition, the fuselage structure would be damaged by this extreme heat, which would later damage the aircraft's stealth coating. Supersonic flight requires a lot of fuel, so Russia would need to build a very powerful but very fuel-efficient engine for the MiG-41 or the aircraft would not be able to fly missions with long flight times because the aircraft would quickly exhaust its fuel. Senator and Deputy Chairman of the Federal Council Committee on Defense and Security Viktor Bondarev stated that the MiG-41 interceptor will be the first Russian sixth-generation fighter. It is being developed as part of a project for a promising complex of long-range interceptors, PAKDB. Russian fighters are constantly improving, the fleet of aircraft in service is being modernized, new interceptors and highly maneuverable fighters are being developed, tested and introduced, Bondarev noted. The senator added, the fighter regiments are designed to counter any air attack, cover the armed forces groups and strategically important targets from enemy air attacks. The MiG-41 fighter is being developed to replace the MiG-31 supersonic interceptor, which entered service in 1981. Ilya Tarasenko, the general director of the MiG Corporation, announced at the Army-17 Forum that the fighter will be able to reach a speed of Mach 4.3, while the maximum speed of the MiG 31 is 2.8 Mach, making it one of the fastest fighters in the world. It is also planned to use low radar signature technologies in the design of the MiG-41 and create a drone version of it. American newspaper, MiG-41 fighter will carry out its missions in space. The MiG-41 fighter will be an aircraft with unique specifications and will be not only supersonic but also hypersonic, according to the National Inter's newspaper. It could be an unmanned drone. It could also perform missions in space. Although no one has seen it yet, it will be ready to fly within a few years. The newspaper says, we can assume that Russia intends to design an aircraft that will replace the outdated MiG-31 fighter, which flies at a speed of Mach 3, about 3,500 km per hour, and was designed on the basis of the Soviet-made MiG-25 air defense fighter. The MiG-31 made its first flight in 1981. It is no coincidence that Russian engineers have begun work on designing a new version of it. The newspaper said that the speed of the MiG-41 will not exceed 3.5 Mach, about 5,000 km per hour, and it will be able to maneuver in the dense layers of the atmosphere and in near space alike. However, maneuverability is not considered a critical issue for an interceptor fighter equipped with hypersonic missiles. The most important thing for it is the altitude, which may reach 100 kilometers, that is, the limits of space where ballistic missiles can be shot down. The MiG company said that the production of MiG-41 fighters the new one will start in the middle of this decade. While foreign analysts doubt this and say that its production is very expensive. Therefore, this project will not be realized until the middle of the 21st century. Also, the National Interest newspaper headlined, Russia in a state of panic, MiG-41 is a real nightmare for the sixth-generation fighter. The Russian MiG-41, which is being promoted as a replacement for the MiG-31 Foxhound, 
is set to push the boundaries of flight with capabilities extending into low space. The MiG-41 looks like something out of science fiction, promising speeds exceeding Mach 4, anti-missile lasers, and weapons guided by electromagnetic pulses.